Even Tyler Perry movies are getting indulgent on the logo length. Do you think I need to see all the other Medea movies in order to understand this one? Also, how generic is this title? A Medea Halloween? That's just a person in a calendar date. Listen up, peasants! This frat's Halloween parties have always been epic! True, I've never been in a frat, but is it common for a dozen frat brothers to pack into a room randomly and wait just so they can be addressed when the president comes down the stairs? Also, judging by the stairs, you've already decorated for this year's Halloween party, so at least half the work is done, no? Best party ever! So, we're throwing any kind of acting subtly out the window right from the start, then? Okay, good to know. Here's 30 sins to pay your ham tax through the rest of the movie. Remember last year? When he hacked into the beta sorority? Yes! <laughs> into the webcam? You mean that digital sex crime? I do remember that. And no one even got arrested somehow. Very illegal. Kind of creepy. Good. But very fun nonetheless. Still harassment, and more importantly, still not funny. Apparently parkour is now a prerequisite for joining a frat. I'm Ronaldo, but my friends call me horse. Subtle. You are now staring at Upsilon Theta's finest. Worst stomp routine ever. It's an all good college, right? So y'all probably never seen a dude before in real life. This is like a Key and Peele sketch that was cut for being more reality than it was funny. This right here, this is what a dude looks like. No, this is what an overactor who probably won't get another job looks like. Hi. So hot. First, ew. Second, he wrote this line about himself. He scripted a teenage girl declaring his own character hot for zero story purpose. This literally is never referenced again. Ring the shame bell, Tyler. Ring it hard. Old Man River. Ain't you got some pigeons to feed or something? Old Man River? Pigeons? Did he time travel from the 20s? What the hell are you telling me? Chill out, pops! In some misguided Eddie Murphy tribute that's gone on for way too long, this is just the first of many characters Tyler Perry himself will play in this movie. These girls walk past Greek house after Greek house, in some kind of throwback to the days when land wasn't so valued and developers and the university itself hadn't already snatched up half the land here for themselves. Oh my god, Slenderman! <laughs> Did that high five routine include a double boob grab? I'm getting more and more creeped out thinking about Tyler Perry writing these things. Does he think this is how teenage girls really interact? Wait, they scampered off screen before we went to a wide shot? I think not, but hey, editors gotta edit you. No, 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 no way. We're staying, so call her dad. Ladies and gentlemen, parenting. They like us. They actually don't. Okay, leaving your iPad out in the open, then messaging about your lame dad before your lame dad is left? How stupid is this girl anyway? Tyler Perry, ladies and gentlemen, in his second role in this film. Please give it up for Discount Eddie Murphy, y'all. When I was growing up, do you know what I had to do for candy? I had to give up candy to get candy. Medea was terrible at trick-or-treating. Also, Jesus Pumpkin. Jesus. And right next to a wee pumpkin? Maybe. what is Ho-01-K? Well, technically the joke is Ho-01-Ks. Cause you know whore rhymes with four, but apparently that's too racy for this film. But how is Ho any more appropriate? Also, I know this movie wasn't made for me, but couldn't it at least have been made with a little tiny bit of quality? This f***ing scene, this f***ing discount overlong SNL reject sketch of a scene goes on for some time. Big about to shoot you, Tupac. This is the second week Biggie joke inside 60 seconds, all because this kid is fat. Oh, you ain't had to punch me like that. You luck I didn't shoot your ass. Conversation between the movie and me ends up in the script. Over seven minutes of this sh I'm not even lying. You know black people scared every damn thing? That's racist. Walk it off. 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 I swear without characters repeating each other, this movie would be shorter than Vern Troy. You know you squirt a little pee every time you get scared, huh? They've made eight of these movies. There are as many Medea movies as Star Wars films. Damn it. I think I just gave them an idea for another one. Well, my daddy. What up, bitch? Yet another character played by Tyler Perry. And if you haven't realized at this point that Tyler Perry is basically pissed at SNL for not hiring him, now you know. Every time you hug up on him, you thrust your pelvis in the hills. <laughs> what, he a grown ass man? He can take it? Casual sexual harassment. She says you get two drops. One say prostate, other say cancer. Prostate cancer. <sighs> you know, everyone says these movies are the modern Ernest movies, but I must have forgotten the prostate cancer joke in Ernest Scared Stupid. Tyler Perry makes Jim Varney look like Laurence Olivier. I'm gonna give you a prostate exam with this foot right here. How many different ways can I come up with to say something in this movie isn't funny? Well, we're gonna find out, I think. Show some apologetion up in here. Apologetion into the room. Medea says what people have been saying to Tyler Perry for years. When I was growing I was 15, baby, and I was the entertainment. So at 15, she was stripping at frat parties, and this movie thinks that's not only not offensive, but hilarious? Do I have that right? Keeps me a hammer. Uh -huh. I feel like this movie just thinks anything Medea says is hilarious. 
Whoop my ass, whoop my ass, whoop my ass, whoop my ass, whoop my This goes on for some time. So when I bust your ass and you ended up in the damn life support situation, whose problem did that belong to? I'm going to send this line first and foremost for terrible grammar and not making sense. Also, I'm going to send the casual hospitalization after child abuse. I bet audiences were guffawing right out of their seats at the hilarious beating of the four-year-old. Jesus f***ing Christ. He had his little pencil in his pocket. Little pencil went straight through one of his little balls. No! Dad throws kid off roof as punishment. Kid loses a testicle. But it's funny because of how it's being described right now by a dude in drag. Also, this movie, man. It's like the nutty professor meets scary movie with the budget of girl fight. Can you please not tell her that I asked you to come by? We are just now getting to the point of this scene. Ten full minutes of this unfunny, sexist, homophobic, physically abusive, but it's cute because they're old people nonsense. Just to finally get back to the actual plot, I want out. Can someone grab Medea's hammer? Just one swing, right here. I need to rest. So far, this movie is literally two scenes of people saying horrific shit they think is funny. I haven't seen the other Medea movies, but it's obvious they stopped trying long before this one. If you're the kind of person that hangs lights for Halloween, you are definitely doing it better than this. This teenage girl has a blown up photo of a Ken doll's face on her wall, like he's Davy f***ing Jones. No, that's it. We're gonna trick them into going to bed early. Acting, ladies and gentlemen. Look what I brought home from school. Schools send home board games. This card comes from Mr. Wilson, the man that died in this house on Halloween. This may be the earliest into a movie that I've wanted to punch Chris in the face. She gave this clicker to a friend and told her to wait for the signal, but she never told her to make the lights flash on and off. And she could easily have just had that clicker in her own damn hand without it being detected. This is not what the bed looked like when they were done staging it. The frat party is literally around the corner, as Brian said earlier, but Medea decides to drive there. Jeez, is every single character in this a walking stereotype? Movie stereotypes harder than Don Rickles. Behold paradise, right before your eyes. <laughs> what the f***? Lord have mercy, do your mama know you're dressing like this? Popular comment from Bella Thorne's Instagram followers somehow makes its way into the script. This movie wants to have its sexual harassment as funny sometimes, but other times offensive cake and eat it too. Give it up for Tyga! Movie thinks getting Tyga to cameo is a good get, but movie doesn't realize what a joke it is, so... I don't like this rap, I like this, I don't, I don't like this. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Every piece of audio for this goddamn Tyga concert was plugged into a single f***ing electrical outlet. What self-respecting frat has a goddamn electronic dartboard, pussies? After literally getting tossed out of the party, Medea and her friends just give up. And this should be the end of the movie. That should never have even been made. But it's not. We're only halfway through, folks. Are you 17? Yes. I'm sorry. No, we can all get kicked out of school for this! For what? You haven't done anything with her. Legal drinking age is 21. So you're basically talking about the sex here. But you haven't done any of it. Also, thanks to the fourth Transformers movie, I know that many states have unique age of consent laws. And depending on the state involved, 17 might not be illegal. Though I don't know the guy's age, and that's part of the equation. Mostly, f*** this movie for making me think more about statutory rape laws than Transformers 4. Did that really just happen? What, the party getting shut down? Or are you leaving your own frat house before complaining about the party being shut down? You f***ing live here, bro. Oh, we're gonna get so even, fellas. Here's the plan. Thankfully, there are no party-busting cops with an earshot of this conspiratorial conversation. But a day is here eavesdropping, in the single worst hiding spot I've ever seen in my f***ing life. Stupid a day. <laughs> Pop quiz, hotshot. These knocks lead to two full minutes of arguing over who will answer the door, a white people joke, absolutely zero laughs, all the above. If you said D, you win nothing. No one wins anything today. Man, what the hell is it? Has she even looked at the door once this entire scene? Like I said, the closer it gets to midnight, the crazier things are gonna get around here. She's saying this, but the party she wants to sneak back out to has literally been shut down by the cops, and she knows it. So what the f is going on? Party is done, but she's still going through with the scare of the relatives plan for no reason? Whatever bullshit explanation they end up using for how this was done in the real world is bullshit. Whatever ghost creeper killer thing this movie is going for wastes tons of time making an old lady turn her TV back off. For some reason. Um, yes, Lord! After everything she's been through tonight, she thinks this is God? Movie implies that these frat bros with IQs that max out at room temperature could edit together this video in less than 15 minutes. Even as an older person, she moves pretty quick, despite falling down. What the hell bro with y'all? They heard noises. More importantly, why did you go to bed in the evening dress with full jewelry and a purse? 
I ain't no playing no damn jokes. I'm playing with myself. Tyler Perry's writing motto. Damn I'm tired running down the stairs. <laughs> damn, you out of shape. Well, the movie has played fast and loose with her need for double walking canes, but even if she's faking the cane need, she's clearly old and frail. Going up there and then check and see what's in the attic. Bitch, please. Dude is still jerking off while having this conversation. I take all you hoes to a hotel if your hoes don't tell. It's times like these I try not to think about the fact that this movie made more at the box office than Moonlight, Captain Fantastic, Edge of Seventeen, and Hell or High Water combined. Never scared. You go up there. I'm going up there. You bad. I'm never scared. You bad. I'm bad. Who's bad? I ain't scared of nothing. Okay, wait. This movie is only a movie and not a short sketch because of extended bullshit like this. <laughs> How did the clown not see this sh coming? <laughs> Medea survives this. How did this clown even get here? I mean, even if Medea is deaf, her friends would have been looking straight at it. Pennywise, but Penny ain't that wise. All these guardians run leaving behind a couple teenagers and a horny old bastard to be devoured by the evil clown. Medea equals selfish. Wait, are we just gonna leave the girl in the house with the clown? Listen. Too late to be asking this shit, suddenly moral lady. I'm gonna make it pray harder, watch this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I prayed harder. Reason 22 why this is a feature film instead of a single mad TV sketch. <laughs> this car breakdown leads to A, two full minutes of arguing over how to fix the car, B, a women don't know cars joke, C, absolutely zero laughs, or D, why the hell am I still watching this freaking movie? Please make it stop already. How did they get so far out into the woodsy wilderness after just leaving the house? How did these guys even get out here? And how did they know that the car would break down here? And how did they bring their own lighting and ground fog effects? Is this fraternity also a traveling theater troupe? The f did all the zombies come from? Am I even watching the same movie I was 20 minutes ago? Settle down, jerk de soleil. We get it, you're a flippin' zombie. This zombie over her shoulder is auditioning for the opening scene of La La Land and not acting in this movie currently being filmed. I don't know what I used to do back in the day, baby. It wasn't no fun. Bam! This made $70 million. Baby, you got the gift like Joel Osteen. You Joel Osteen jokes, understood by and funny to exactly no one. They hacked into the TV, the lights, the plumbing. Hacked into the plumbing? The plumbing? I don't care if you're one of the brothers Mario, plumbing is not hackable. And when you were in the car and the zombies came out of the woods. How does he know this happened? She hasn't mentioned it, and even if a day heard them planning it, that doesn't mean they follow through. Yet he says it like he knows it for a fact. I bind you, cousin demon. Bind him. Cousin demon, I bind you. Bind. One sin for trying to bind my cussing. Fudge you, movie. Wait, what the helmets? Cheese and rice, it worked. You try to tell me right now. That that was them cheering? That did that? Is there some pastoral rule about only conveying important information in person? You were just on the phone with her. Also, why would you even call her to the church when apparently there is a service going on? I'm, I'm Ronaldo, but everybody calls me horse. Horse? Ooh, can I ride? That's it. I've had enough of this hoary, horny Halloween. I was going to let these lame sex jokes slide because it's a comedy. But dang, rabbit, how is every forking person in this movie such a sex addict? Here's a sin for this one and 20 more to cover the rest of this pervy parade retroactively. Y'all wanna play these games? I'm calling Brian. Calling the homeowner to try and sort out a haunting's authenticity. I told you not to go. Mm, so I did. Get over it. Fracking teenagers, man. Entitled sons of witches. If you don't snatch that heifer up by her new growth and strangle her through the air like a helicopter, you- Wait, snatch her up by her new growth? Do I even wanna know what new growth means? Son of a biscuit, this movie is the worst. Yes, we've sworn plenty in this video already, but just go with the motif and try not to worry about it. What is wrong with you old people? Bratty teenage daughter would be excellent at CinemaSins. Oh, so her having an affair in this house isn't her running over you? Whoa, where in the hello dolly did that come from? That's what this movie's about? Movie thinks it can do 90 minutes straight of age, race, sex, boob jokes and still somehow land an emotional ending in the last 10 minutes. Okay, this has to be a joke. Nope, no jokes around here. At least not funny ones. You have to abide by the rules in this house. If I say it, you have to abide by it. Do you understand? What about when you say go Bama? Or something like Trump was right about that one thing. Even then? I still think you need your football eyes. More not funny from the not funny side character. Color me bored. After seeing a dead girl, all these frat bros collectively decide to bail and keep quiet. And that's morally reprehensible. Jesus, how elaborate is this prank? The entire police force is in on it. They brought a mixed gender prison bus and stocked it with people who were supposed to be, what, other prisoners? So they just drove the prisoners around to make new arrests? This prank is simultaneously the most intricate and ignorant prank of all time. Homie, you gonna hug a man from the back. 
Let's see, which type of sex joke haven't we told yet? Prison sex? Yahtzee! A day's death with fate, as was the concept that any of this film's main characters would actually be taken off on a prison bus. You get off the bus, and you get off the bus, and you- Did good, did good with that makeup, girl. Wait, she did that herself? Maybe the movie should have hired her to make Tyler Perry's old people gloves look a little less like they were designed at a Le Boutique Day Leatherface. Whoop my ass! 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 Hide the weasel, park the porpoise. Bit of the old Humpty Dumpty. Oh, sh! Are you ready for this? Oh, sh! The ghosts come out at midnight. At midnight, I blow you all up. I'm just 17. I am 16, going on 17. Mr. Wilson, please leave me alone, Mr. Wilson. I'm sorry, Wilson. Wilson, I'm sorry.